All right, so Zenless Zone Zero, the game comes out really soon. We've got a trailer for Grace. I haven't watched all of the Zenless Zone Zero character trailers yet. I, I probably should, because so far, everyone that I've watched, they, they seem to really match the vibe of the uh, game. Just super fun. This? Patience, sweet pea. And the music is smacked. Fix this child first. Fix Are this child. Them? Damn! Found a mechanical ethereal at the scene. <gasps> really? <laughs> Hey, how she fit under there? Let's be honest. Ain't no way. All right, here comes the music, man. The music for this game is so funky and fresh. And I love that in these trailers, they're using like lyrics and vocals. It just—it's so fun. Next to my machines, you don't stand a chance. Damn, bro. I need to dress up as a machine for Halloween. That's the kind of reaction I'll get. Damn. A construction vehicle transformed into a weapon? See, she had like a, a whole romantic moment here. <laughs> wow, it's so ugly yet so creative. I wonder what it looks like. Yeah, she would be talking about me. Let's go. Dude, this song smacks. The animation of this game is so clean. I know everybody talks about it. Damn, give the cameraman a raise. Everybody talks about the animation. And like how how just clean and over the top it is, but they're right. At the mere mention of mechanical enemies. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. And you got here just in time, didn't you, Sweepy? That's why you're the president. So dependable. Nice things. Now, how about you let Sis have a little looky loo inside this child? Oh, my eyes! Ew, yeah, poke me like that for real though. All right, so musically. Let's talk about it. We'll, we'll quit thirsting over 3D characters for the next three minutes or so. And that's all you get. But uh, musically, this is really fun. So obviously, you got really strong like R&B hip-hop vibes, basically with every song that I've heard, at least. So, so we had Nicole and Nika Mata. I've watched their videos. I don't know how many others there are. And what's neat about this sound here is it's very... I mean, like, she, you know, the, the lyrics, are, it's rapping, right? But musically, musically, it's not really rap or hip-hop. It's almost like the vocal performance alone is giving that hip-hop feel. But the music right now, this is just electronic. It's like a... It's essentially, it's running at a slower pace, right? So it feels like it's got a little bit more ebb and flow to it, which is fitting because if you're rapping over something, a lot of times... Um, especially if you're you're rapping fast. If if there's a fast flow vocally, you don't necessarily want to match that musically because then it gets too convoluted and you can't focus on one or the other. And a lot of times, um, especially whenever like in rap, if you're going particularly fast, they're actually following a beat or they're following a pattern. Um, you know, like they're emphasizing syllables at certain points and like the uh, what, what's the proper term? It's not intonation, a uh, cadence. The cadence, the cadence is almost always going to be on beat. I shouldn't say almost always. Oftentimes, it's a it's a common technique to make your uh, the cadence goes on beat, and you can follow the you know like just full notes, quarter notes, eight notes, and if you're really fast, you can do sixteenth notes. So here they've got the actual drum beat moving pretty slow. It's like basically a halftime beat, but then the vocals over the top they're maintaining that cadence, they're maintaining that tempo, that speed. It's kind of where you get the sense of momentum in the song is coming from the vocal performance, not the music itself. And even right there, you know, there's a build up and it goes right back into the same halftime beat. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let, let's go back. Let's just count that out real quick. Because, yeah, essentially, it feels like the drum beat is in halftime, right? One, two, three, four, right? The snare hits are coming on the two and the four. The vocals over the top are at least running eighth notes over that actual drum beat. And that's that's where that sense of rhythm comes from, right? One, two, 
three, four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So that so that she was hitting eighth notes there. Let's listen to it after this breakdown to see where she lands. I think it's mostly around like the eighth note range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? And so basically, you know, if you take out the lyrics and you just replace it with counting, that's how you can determine like how fast they're, like, they're spitting. Excuse my old man slang. That, that's how you can kind of track that down. And that's why, you know, it's really smart to just go with a smoother, lower key beat on the back end. And then even beyond that, you know, the bass line itself, there's not a lot of motion happening in this composition outside of the lyrics or outside of the vocals. Okay, so right there, right there, uh, whenever she says higher, because that has to be, that that's a, um, you know, not necessarily a long word, but because the syllables split nicely, you can squeeze that in and make like a really brief, essentially, that's like a 16th note. So if we're counting her as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so when you squeeze in those ands, 3, and 4, and, that's where it gets the higher, like the higher, the er is coming in on a, it's probably coming in on an and, either that or the high is coming in on an and, so you can split up the, the syllables and just adjust your cadence ever so slightly. It's essentially, essentially like, a, from a drummer's point of view, is if you're gonna do a quick little like snare fill, just like a real quick roll, like a da da da. That's kind of what you're doing lyrically and squeezing in extra syllables within the cadence that you're already like kind of locked into. Right, like right, right, right there. She, you know, might not believe it. So rather than saying might not be, leave it, might not believe. Right, she squeezes in that. It's just, it's cool. It's cool technique. It creates a nice flow in the song. I'll try and stop interrupting it now. I feel like it's just the kind of thing we don't get to talk about a lot, you know? At least not on this channel with most of the music that we cover. So it's really interesting to hear it here in the ZZZ soundtracks. Wow, it's so ugly yet so creative. I wonder what it looks like inside. So we come out of that build. This is the heavy part of the song, but that beat hasn't changed. Instrumentation has changed. I think they've added in another layer or two there as far as the synthesizers are concerned. Yeah, it's just nice, man. It's just a nice song. That's cool. That's fun. Like that's literally it. It's the epitome of Sinless Sun Zero. It's nice. It's fun. It's got great energy. I like I can take care of myself. And that's coming from someone who's never played in the Sun Zero. I don't that's know. why you're the president. So dependable. I know there's no music here, but we're gonna watch it anyways. Now, how about you let Sis have a little looky loo inside this child? Note to self: when I start playing in the Sun Zero, I cannot do the trend of like using a an eye tracker. Yeah, that would that would get me in trouble. Anyways, so. <laughs> That's in the Sun Zero, man. More hip hop. It's got a really, really nice urban feel, and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm super excited for this game. I really am. As we leave a comment, let me know if you're excited for the game or not. I'm gonna be trying. Grace is actually one of the few characters I'm actually very, very excited for. I'm getting out of here, gamers. Love the games. Love yourself, and I love you. Bye.